over uh, and maintained exactly the same team of people and the same priorities that I have, I had. Last year, uh, I won the election in the first runoff with almost 60% of the vote. Again, great expectations. And since then, uh, there is a very strong and unheard of before integration between the city and the state. Now, the state government is expanding the underground in another 27 kilometers till 2010 and accelerating the upgrading of the train transport into a kind of surface underground in terms of security, comfort, and performance. This is the key to improve uh, Sao Paulo transport system, uh, to transform the train transport into uh, underground. Uh, there are 240 kilometers of train tracks and it is much cheaper to transform them in, into a kind of surface underground than building new lines. We shall be investing $90 billion in this program till uh, 2010. Uh, we are buying now 100 new trains uh, and part of the money uh, will come from the private sector uh, that for the first time which for the first time will run one, just one, of the lines of the underground system. We are also rushing the works on the ring road. We forced the federal government to contribute, and again, we uh, introduced in the private sector in the area, which will get its money back through the tolls, which are quite unpopular, but necessary. Regarding slums, the basic idea is do not remove, but to transform the so-called favelas, Islam, in a normal neighborhood. Uh, but it costs about four, five thousand dollars per family. Uh, of course, it reduces very sharply the inequality. But I must say that uh, inequality reduction and housing improvement fosters domestic migration. Not from the state, because Sao Paulo has only 15% of uh, uh, its population uh, in the agricultural sector, but from other states. It's, uh, I wonder sometimes if it's possible to have a good and fair city in a poor country, because, of course, of the freedom uh, of immigration, not as in China, but uh, in a free and democratic country. And uh, when housing improves, improve migration. This is automatic. Uh, this is a matter for other kind of discussion. Finally, a program that is meeting with success in the, is the deprivatization de of public space, making it accessible to all, with clear rules that all, rich and poor, must obey. The most visible program has to do with the radical clean city law, which practically abolished outdoors and publicity panels and the billboards in the city, uh, sharply reducing visual pollution. There was a violent reaction against the law by advertisers and owners of business in that activity, but the law passed on and uh, put to effect immediately with great success. We also started the recuperation of a degraded downtown area through powerful state and municipal fiscal incentives. The improvement of the service of public cleaning and garbage collection, repavement of the streets and improvement of sidewalks. Not as a made in patch attitude, but as a global program of improvements. Uh, this allowed the city administrations, without a great increase in our budget, to appear for the first time as the champion of an interest higher than the sum of all the individual interests. And inspired by the examples of the Nuit Blanche of Paris and Notte Bianca the, of Rome, uh, here we have cities learning from each other, we first organized the, a cultural journal, journey in Sao Paulo, a 20-hour 24-hour uh, program of music, theater, dance, and movie presentations all over the city, reaching more than 3 million people. 
Its success was so great that we decided to expand the idea and create, in the same format uh, of a 24-hour 20 hour journey, to a sports journey and even a social journey in areas with high rates of criminality. Well, all these initiatives were given continuation and are being expanded to allow the people of Sao Paulo to reclaim the streets uh, of the city for themselves, refraining to give up in face of indifference. Our goal with these initiatives was to reinforce the link between the use of public space and the citizenship and civility to all those who live in the city, regardless of a social class or status. Thank you very much, Mr.